Hi friends, this is Tina and welcome to my new video. I know we are definitely in a different spot than usually. I'm at my parents' house in my hometown sitting in a hammock, which is kind of great. Life could be worse. <laughs> I thought that I would take my camera and film this day with you guys since I'm going to be doing something I've never done before. I have painted outside but I've never painted from what I'm actually seeing outside so I thought that I could take you with me and we could practice together and yeah it's gonna be fun hopefully. <laughs> I'm also gonna say something because um, I have no idea how this video is gonna be going to be turning out. I don't know if the audio is gonna be really bad or if the video is gonna be really bad. If it is, bear with me. I'm just practicing and this is the first time that I'm ever filming a video outside like this. So I don't know how the um, birds singing, like will the mic pick up that or, I mean, that would be great, but maybe the wind sounds could be left out or something. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, I, th I guess without further ado, we could actually start with this whole thing and yeah, let's go. There was a huge spider web and I just touched it. Oh my god, mosquitoes. Oof. I almost just said that this might have been the worst or the best idea but honestly I don't think this idea deserves anything else than maybe an okay idea we have so many mosquitoes here we have ants in here as well which means that I'm constantly bitten by something <laughs> I have not even started painting and I don't know how this is going to go at least if we even get to the painting part I would at least assume that it's gonna be pretty fast because I honestly don't know how I could even have the patience of being here for a long time. <sighs> I mean, it's a beautiful place, but it has its cons for sure. But I will do this. Hello, it is voiceover Dina here and I'm not going to be here for long. I just want to say a couple of things about this video that I noticed while I was editing. So again, like I said in the beginning, this is very much an experimental video. I did not know what I was doing and I've never filmed anything like this before and I hope that someone is interested in watching a video like this. It's not the most exciting one. It's very chaotic and also in a way very relaxing, I would say, because you can just pretty much hear the nature sounds and have have little clips of me painting it's nothing too special and I also noticed that you cannot really even see what I'm doing in this video because the painting is kind of blocked by something uh, many times so I'm very sorry about that this is definitely not a video that you watch because you want to recreate this painting for sure but I really still hope you enjoy watching this I think if you're maybe doing a painting of your own and you just want something to play in the back this would be a perfect video for that I would say because it might feel like you're painting with a friend but yeah I don't really have anything else to say I just wanted to give you a little disclaimer on the video of how different this is from my usual videos but again I hope you really enjoy watching it anyway I'm going now but enjoy seeing these clips of me painting in the forest
Okay, so I finally got the painting done. It took me a little less than two hours and I had tons of struggles with it. Of course, the mosquitoes, my surroundings, the ants and everything like that. You know, having kind of like a bad posture when I was working and having all of my supplies just like scattered all over the ground, which is not ideal, by the way. If you can hear that sound, someone just like a neighbor started doing something. I don't care about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, like it wasn't an ideal situation to be working with a painting. And I wish that I maybe had planned this better because then I would have actually had such nice time. But it was also really a warm day. So like if I was in the sun, for example, I would have been burned by now like a million times. But um, yeah, I think that other thing that I had struggles with was my like perfectionism when it comes to paintings. I don't necessarily think it's oftentimes perfectionism but just like being able to work with paintings for a long time like I love that I treasure that time that I can spend with my paintings and just like work on details and make like kind of work with a painting to the point where I'm like okay I'm really happy with this but here I kind of had to just leave it as it is without being able to get to that point if that makes any sense like I couldn't really finish this in the way that I would have liked because it was a like I had a time limit and I had this thought of not making it perfect making a more loose and messy kind of painting but that is something that I really struggle with because that's not something that I'm used to doing but yeah I think that that of course you know always teaches me a lot when I have to go out of my comfort zone like that and do something that I'm necessarily not the happiest with because like this painting could have been really nice if I just had more time and I could have worked on it um, more or like if I like even I had time hard time like covering some areas because I actually forgot to take paper towel with me so I couldn't necessarily ever um, clean my brush as well so like all those little um, things that made it much harder definitely also made the process a little bit less enjoyable but again those kinds of things teach you a lot and are probably very valuable in the end and you know time spent painting is never time wasted so that's at least how I think about it <laughs> but yeah um, I could explain a lot of things about this whole process but I think that this video should just end here I was thinking about um, painting the other page as well before I started filming this video but it was such a struggle that I'm happy with just leaving it here <laughs> and just doing something else with my day but yeah I'm happy that I ended up taking you with me and doing this it was definitely a new thing that I've never tried out before so so it's always a good thing to do that but yeah um that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed seeing the beautiful sceneries and the birds singing, maybe, if you heard that. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this video and haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like the video. And also leave me a tree emoji in the comments so I know you watched until the end. And also tell me if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Maybe better planned ones, but anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.